What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to your clothing guide, the Hoxton Trend. Guys, listen, in this video, what I wanna do is go through how you can look after and clean your Canada Goose Parker jackets. I'm gonna break this video down into stages. I'm gonna talk about how to manage things like stains, marks, smells, like cigarette smoke, strong smells of deodorant, what happens when the jacket loses its puffiness, and I'm also gonna talk about how to look after the fur rough as well. Now, before I get into the video, I wanna show you a couple of things real quick, okay? So let me just show you real quick. Um, online retailer Coggles went ahead and sent us, they actually went ahead and sent us some bits. Let me just try and open this box. Right, so that's the Coggles box right there. They're basically a premium international fashion retailer and they house over 200 men's and women's designer clothes from fashion houses all around the world. They do actually have a store which is over in Alderley Edge in Cheshire. Coggles also do free UK and European delivery when you spend over 100 pounds. One of the things that I thought was really, was really cool is this Axel Arrogato, Axel Arrogato footwear and the quality of this stuff I might add is very very nice so that's the Axel Arrogato trainers right there. The good thing is is that from from Monday, Cyber Monday, um, Coggles will be doing a 35% off discount so that includes brands like Axel Arrogato, Kenzo, The North Face, Mason Margiela, PS by Paul Smith, Bell Staff, Macage, Balmain, Parajumpers, and much, much more. Some more stuff that Coggle sent over was some t-shirts from APC, oversized t-shirts from APC, got one in navy, one in black, and also got some uh, PS by Paul Smith as well. Like any of the stuff that you see in this video, you can get 35% off those and 35% off the brands that I just mentioned as well. Simply just go down to the description box below, you will see a link on there for 35% off. I actually got some frames from a retailer called Mavericks and Wolf. Now, Mavericks and Wolf is a online designer eyewear store. GM specialise in like current and up-to-date fashionable eyewear, that's sunglasses and also frames as well. They're offering our followers 40% off frames. Now I've actually had a few people message me recently asking about frames, but for people who are looking for frames for their prescriptions or just that they just want to wear for like fun or just kind of style purposes, you can go ahead and get yourself 40% off frames and eyeglasses as well, okay? So make sure to go and check that out. So these are the frames that I actually got in. Um, these are from Marc Jacobs and you can actually go ahead and get these from Mavericks and Wolf with 40% off. Um, I love the shape of them. Mark, Mark Jacobs is basically kind of like one of my favorite eyewear sunglasses. Right, let's crack on with this video. Now, when it comes to actually cleaning your Canada Goose, for this particular video, I'm talking about the Parkers that use Canada Goose's Arctic Tech technologies. This, for example, is a Canada Goose Macmillan jacket. This is using like the Arctic Tech material. It's just a little bit more harder, more rigid than the normal material that you might find on Canada Goose. Well, this is a Canada Goose Lodge. Now this is using a lighter polyester outer material with ripstop technology. I'm not talking about these particular jackets for this video. I'm specif specifically talking about ones for Arctic, um, the Arctic Tech material. The tools that I recommend for that are a microfiber cloth, a spray bottle with some water, a little bit of soap inside there as well, and also a hairdryer. I know you're gonna laugh, but def seriously, a hairdryer as well will be something that would be really good to have. Also a debubbler. A debubbler is really good to have, and I'm gonna show you how you can use all these tools to make sure that your jacket is staying clean and well protected. Now Canada Goose jackets are very prone to get stains and marks just like any other jacket. The good thing about this material is it's quite easy to wipe stains and marks off the jacket with a microfiber cloth, a couple of squirts of water and soap and you can just give it a good kind of wipe down and most stains will come out of the jacket. Now the reason why I prefer to do this as opposed to going ahead and dry cleaning is that sometimes what happens with dry cleaning is if you do it too much your jackets can actually start to fade. I try not to do that too often I'll only do that every so often maybe even twice a year if that if I'm to be honest with you most of the time I will try to wipe the jacket down and dry cleaning should be something that you do maybe once or twice a year or if you absolutely need to because in my experience what I find is will sometimes pick up fading especially along the seams the inside seams of the jacket seams here you can sometimes pick up fading down the side seams of the jacket and also under the armpit of the jacket as well are prone areas to get fading. I tend to find that that comes from dry cleaning a lot of the time. So what I would usually do is lay my jacket down on a surface, water just like this, put a tiny bit of soap in there and start squirting the affected area, microfiber cloth and on one side I literally just give it a good wipe down. This stain is quite thick, I add a little bit more soap and I get it to be a little, a little bit kind of soapy so I just add a little bit of soap, a little bit more water 
water and I still continue to rub it down until the um, stain or the mop looks like it's disappearing or until it's going because usually most stains will come out of the jacket. Don't worry if the jacket is soaking up too much water or too much soap, that's absolutely fine. If it's a bit too soapy, just add a little bit more water and then just continue to wipe down. Once you continue to do that, you simply just get your jacket. You can hang your jacket up just like that. And what you'll notice is after a while, the water will start to come out from the jacket and the watermark stain will disappear and the jacket will return to normal. If the, sta the stains are still there, you can go back and repeat the process. I would say do it two to three times max. And if the stain doesn't come out, then it might be something a bit more permanent where you may need to go ahead and get dry cleaning. If you go ahead and get dry cleaning, make sure that the dry cleaners that you're using can actually clean Canada Goose. Not all dry cleaners are exactly the same. You could take one to one dry cleaner, they use different products, they have different machines. The way they clean the jackets is all different. I've spoken to dry cleaners about this, so it's not the same process all the time. What I tend to find is if you go somewhere and it's quite cheap to clean the jacket, they might not be giving it the proper process that the jackets need. Clean Canada Gooses can range anything from like 15 pounds right up to 35 pounds. I've even had some people quote 60 pounds because of the different processes. So have a conversation with your dry cleaners, ask them, have you cleaned Canada Goose jackets before? Have you had any problems with Canada Goose jackets? before and are, are you guys confident in cleaning kind of uh, expensive designer jackets like Montclair and Canada Goose and also you want to get the pricing if the pricing is quite low like if they're coming back saying like nine pounds ten pounds try to understand the process that you want to make sure that this jacket is going to be really good and you want to try to avoid as much fading as possible that's the kind of conversations that you should have with your dry cleaners luckily the dry cleaners that I use they're really good so they, they know the whole process I think they charge like 15 or 16 pounds but I know that my jacket is going to be absolutely fine I've known some dry cleaners that will charge even 60 pounds but I haven't tried that because I think that's a little bit too much but if you really love your jacket and you think that's going to give you um, the real kind of cleaning that you want deep cleaning then you can go ahead and try those services and see what they're saying but just make sure that they can actually clean Canada Goose okay